Well, after a real cold spell, it was time to have a look at the trailer. Because I think it's time to go somewhere where it's actually warm. One more for the road is one last video before I go on my big first long trip of 2018. I'm heading for the southwest, so I'll be in uh, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, and probably a few other states as well. But uh, I've got a little window of opportunity, and I'm heading out in the morning. So I'm going to do a really quick video. It's a no-frills video. It's going to be mostly what I pack and where I pack it. And uh, off I go. Hope you enjoy. Packing is one of the biggest challenges for a long trip. What to pack where to put it, why you're bringing it in the first place. Um, it's kind of an art form, so you really have to plan ahead as to what you need to bring. Because I know that if I brought everything that I thought I'd need, there'd be no room for me. I'd fill up the trailer, I'd fill up the back of the uh, towing vehicle, I'd bring all kinds of stuff that I really don't need. So you've got to plan ahead. But it's also, you need to distribute the loads properly in your trailer. You can't have too much on the side or an axle or in the back. So you got to know the capabilities of your trailer as to how much you can put in the front and in the back. And each side, you don't want some too much on one wheel and not the other. You're going to have issues. So distribution, how you pack it. And I'm going to give you a few little tips as to uh, how I pack stuff and where I put it as well. So in the back of my trailer, underneath the bed, I've got one big bin for clothes. On this side, I've got a little step ladder, a little chair, and a backpack. On this side is my shower. So underneath here, and I've showed you that in a lot of videos, I've got uh, the toilets, toilet paper, uh, the fold-up shower, and I've got the gray water, uh, I got the gray water jug with nothing in it. So there's not a lot of weight on this side. On this side, let me just show you that. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a jug of water, which I haven't filled yet. I've got a bin here with miscellaneous stuff. And this is stuff that I, I need for the trip, but I don't need right away. Stuff like sandals and uh, additional uh, solar panel wire and stuff like that. Uh, I've got a mandolin wrapped up there, a hammock, and you can see in the back there is all the foam for insulation. So that's what I've got in this section here. So this is the front of the trailer and this is typically the side I sleep on. So I've got my big, thick, cold sleeping bag. Uh, it's my big wood sleeping bag. I also have another lighter sleeping bag. And the reason I have two is because I'm going to be passing through two different climates. I'm going to start off with cold. And when I mean cold, it could be 20 below zero. And then I'll get into the, the hotter temperatures around Arizona and all that. So I have to plan for both. That's why I've got two sleeping bags. And if it gets super, super cold, like Idaho, I always use Idaho when I travel as the point that if I get through there, I'm going to be fine. And no offense to anybody from Idaho, but every time I've gone through there, it's been cold, it's been windy, it's been fog, it's been blizzards, it's been rain, it's been everything. So that's my point, and everybody should know on their trip where they're, they're most likely to develop problems as far as weather goes. So I can use this in, when it gets warm, and I use this when it's cold, and if it gets really cold, I can use them both together. Now, as far as underneath goes, I've got one bin I use for toiletries, for soap, for, uh, I don't know, uh, medications, all that stuff. It's easy for me to access uh, when I'm sleeping and all that, so I keep that in the front. And I also have another bin here. And this is mostly clothes, but these are specialized clothes. So in other words, it's like coats and scarves and stuff that I might need that I can just go in the door of the trailer and get. Um, whereas the other clothes, I can get them anytime when I'm set up. So I have my special clothes in the front there. 
Um, I've got the two batteries on this side underneath. I, I think you've seen that in my uh, my battery video. So that's what's in this side as well as the furnace. On this side, I've got this compartment here. Actually, I'm going to just take that all off and then you can see it properly. So underneath the front right side compartment, I've got oh, I've got a jug here. It's not full right now, but it will be full when I travel. Uh, I need this weight on this side and I'll need some extra water anyway. Because I have the batteries on that side, I need to balance it out a little bit, so I'm going to put some more weight, which is water, on this side. I've got my little ammo can with stuff I can put in there. And I've also got an electric heated blanket, just so I can get that little bit warmer when I need to and not have to use the furnace and use propane. In the back here, and this is the one that's serviced from the outside, I've got pieces of wood that I use just to jack up one side of, uh, of the trailer if, if I'm on uneven terrain. Got a toolbox, got a grease gun. Uh, toolbox has just tools for the trailer, um, hex wrenches and stuff like that. Uh, grease gun. Um, I got the stops for the wheels. Uh, yeah, I've got a. I've got a jack for a trailer. Basically, this is all the stuff for the outside of the trailer, um, the wheel for the front tongue and stuff like that. So that's pretty basic. And I've got different sizes of, of wood here, different thicknesses. If I'm on really uneven terrain, I can just pick to suit. So that's what's in the front. And uh, the sink I don't use. So. I've got a little tray in here that holds cutlery and nice forks, scissors, uh, lighters, scrubber, salt, stuff like that. Um, just don't use the sink. Underneath the sink, unbungee that. And uh, I keep my pots and pans and glasses and stuff like that in the top shelf. Bottom shelf, I haven't filled that up yet, but that'll be, you know, canned goods and stuff like that, soups and uh, stuff. Anything that I, anything that's food related and doesn't have to be refrigerated, I keep under the sink. Okay, so here's the counter by the door, and I'll just lift up the lid. And in there, I've got uh, paper towels. I've got a ceramic heater. I've got lots of. Uh, 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 garbage bags and Ziploc bags, uh, lots of bags and rags, and underneath here is a toaster oven, which if I actually have a, a land uh, power, then I can use that, but mostly I don't. And in the drawers here, the top one, I've got plates, I've got uh, some maps, I've got a cutting board, stuff like that. Anything flat goes in there. And this is all my little stuff. And uh, it kind of looks like a mess, because it is. A lot of little, little things go in there. It's so easy to be bowled over by technology these days. Everybody uses their phone, their iPhone, their tablet, their computer, their GPS for information as to how to travel. But I got one little piece of old school I will not be without. Millennials, you may never even seen these. But I have road maps, paper road maps. They're available free for most tourist information centers. You've got city maps, you've got uh, state maps, got Utah, New Mexico, Houston. I got a ton of these. I always rely on these. And I also get a road atlas. And this is the road atlas for all of US and Canada. Little tabs into the spots I want to go. I can write on them. The only technology I need is my reading glasses and a little bit of light, and I'm good to go. What's wrong with old school? Okay, I think that's it. It's time to fold down the trailer, hitch it up, and get on out of here. I'm going to be out in the morning. Hope to make it to uh, Idaho Falls uh, tomorrow night. Then I'll be in Nevada, Arizona. Anybody traveling, let me know. You know, keep in touch because you might see me down there. Look for the only A-liner with a yellow frame, and that'll that'll be me. 
Uh, anyway, uh, probably I'm not going to have another video for the next couple of weeks. It's going to take me a while to settle down, get online again. And uh, But I do have some more videos planned. I've got some new stuff I've been working on. I just have to test it out this, this early part of the trip. Um, boondocking. I'm going to be doing a lot of boondocking. So uh, wish me luck. I'm out of here. Happy camping. Avalanche.